well after quen 2.5 we have quen 3 this is amazing this is a model from alibaba they are releasing a two mixture of experts model and six dense model and the sizes ranges from 0.6 to 235 billion parameters this is the largest parameter model when three is 235 billion and activated parameter is 22 billion now this is giving pretty competitive results on coding math and general capabilities and you can compare it with other top tier models for example DeepSeek r1 o1 o3 mini grok 3 and gemini 2.5 pro it outperforms quen 3 30 billion a 3 billion outcompetes the questionnaire quen 32 billion with 10 times of activated parameters and even a tiny model such as quen 3 4 billion can rival the performance of 2.5 72 billion instruct now this is amazing now since we are so much matured in terms of using these large language models they have already released uh, tons of different ways you can use this model for example for deployment you can use this model using sglang or vllm which we typically use or i at least typically use then for local usage you can use tools like olama lm studio mlx llama cpp k transformers these are pretty amazing we're going to see one or two examples of how to use this locally but if you go to the blog there's a blog of quen 3 think deeper act faster so we can see that this outperforms pretty good models basically so you can see that in all these benchmarks we have quen 3 to 35 billion activated 22 billion and quen 3 32 billion this is a mixture of experts model this is a dense model it outperforms and outshines all these different models for example you can see open ai's o1 deep seek r1 rock 3 beta a gemini 2.5 pro and open ai o3 mini and on these benchmark you can see you can see it it outperforms uh, the other models much larger than its own size now they're releasing a total of eight models uh, as we have seen so these six are the dense models so you can see the parameters here is 0.6 billion 1.7 billion 4 billion 8 billion 14 billion and 32 billion so these are the six models you can see the context length of 32k and 128k or 8 billion and above they're also releasing two mixture of experts models so you can see 30 billion model and uh, 3 billion is the length or activated 3 billion parameters we have 235 billion parameter when 3 and 22 billion is active at any point of time when you ask any questions or queries it has 48 layers and it has 94 layers you can see the context length is 128k now this is amazing we can go and test this out but before we go and test this out it's pertinent to mention that they're introducing two modes here the thinking mode and the non-thinking mode in the code itself you can decide what mode to use for easier questions or the questions which can be answered without any thinking process for example general knowledge questions you can use the non-thinking mode and for questions like math or reasoning abilities you need to involve the thinking mode now if you don't want to decide which mode to use you can leave it default and it will certainly try to switch between the non-thinking mode and the thinking mode and try to give you the answer as quickly as possible so you can see that if we enable the thinking mode then it you know exponentially it increases the capability of the models here you can see for the AIME 24 that's a math benchmark uh, that's math competition basically AIME 25 you can see that the thinking mode performance is pretty good when we enable the thinking mode live code bench the same thing gpq with diamond but obviously general knowledge questions if you want the answers to be as fast as possible you can use the non-thinking mode and it supports 119 languages and uh, many of them, the indian languages for example my mother tongue is assamese and this is supported as well we have other indian language uh, for example bhojpuri we have hindi punjabi bengali oriya so many indian languages and i've tested this assamese language i would say that this is about 90 percent accurate uh, for this kind of a model and it's really amazing i've been uh, you know thinking of uh, creating my llm for my mother tongue but i think i don't need to do it anymore because we have quen 3 and it has amazing excellent capabilities for my mother tongue as well now this is well equipped with the mcp so we can see that in this demo video we can see that it goes ahead and uh, it, it tries to think uh, through the problem it starts the tool calling fetch fetch finish the tool calling get the output from the tools start uh, tool calling again and on the right you can see that it has these tools that you can use now after using the tools getting the output from the tools 
it thinks and give you the answer you can see that it gives you a pretty good use now on the front of computer use we can use this model as well that does excels as well in computer use so there is one uh repository uh, i guess i've come across known as uh, browser use uh, we can certainly integrate this model and that will make it more powerful now in the pre-training uh there is uh tons of things that they have done so the first thing is they have done is quint 3 uh, was pre-trained on significantly or even twice uh, the amount of tokens that was done for quen 2.5 so for quen 2.5 it was 18 trillion tokens now it's approximately 36 trillion tokens covering 119 languages and dialects they've also extracted uh they've also used pdf like documents they have used their own quen 2.5 vision language model to extract the text from this document and they have used quen 2.5 to improve the quality of the extracted content now this is amazing i love it they're using their own vlms they're using their own models to extract the quality and they're training a new version of the model so are iteratively uh, improving their own models and that's pretty amazing to hear and to increase the amount of math and code data they are also using their own quen 2.5 math quen 2.5 coder to generate synthetic data and then that's that's pretty amazing it includes textbooks question and answer pairs and code snippets okay so the pre-training uh, was done in three stages the first stage the model was pre-trained over 30 million or uh, trillion tokens with a context length of 4k tokens and in the second stage uh, they improved the data set by increasing the proportion of knowledge intensive data for example science technology stem coding and reasoning task and the model was then pre-trained on additional of five trillion tokens in the final stage uh, they use a high quality long context data to extend the context length to 32k now these are the different architecture uh, we can see that on the different benchmarks so general tasks you can see on the right the square and three to 35 billion a 22 billion it is performing the top on all the benchmark except for this include multilingual tasks in which DeepSeek v3 base wins otherwise you can see for all these tasks this is the top and the underlying one is the second so for example in gpqa you can see that the quen 3 the highest parameter is course of 47.47 and the second is quen 2.572 billion base here so you can see all these benchmarks across general task maths multilingual code task and this is amazing and these are the steps for post uh, training they have come with quen 3 to 35 billion and Quen 3 30 billion these two models for post training and development uh, with Quen 3 is pretty easy you can use model scope and you can use hugging face to get started with a regular llm uh, just like the way you use for regular LLM. so these are the different codes you can use this agentic uh, use as well uh, we have i believe well i've already made a video on Quen agent so this is you can this is a pretty good framework to create different agents you can use this uh Quen agent you can use this new Quen 3 model basically you can replace whatever you were doing with this new llm and it's going to be pretty amazing this you know the accuracy is going to blow uh on the top of the roof uh, let's go and test this out so this is the uh, chat.quen.ai okay let's get started uh, okay just for a shock if i ask it can you explain why taiwan is not a part of china you can see that it doesn't give you the answer of course uh you already know the capability of these models these are pretty good but there are some topics that you cannot touch and this is one of such topic uh, since it's uh it comes from china so there are certain restrictions in the answers but apart from that for all the normal task this is an amazing model you can definitely use now on the hugging face you can see that these are the all the different models that they have uploaded so you can see 0.6 base 1.7 base 4 billion base 8 billion base 14 billion base and you can see a 30 billion a 3 billion base and you can see that these are the floating point 8 uh, models uh, then you can see this is the fine-tuned model it's not a base model you can fine-tune model you can download this but let's go ahead and download it from something known as olama i guess you are already a user of olama so i have already installed olama you can go and download olama and install it for your own operating system i'm gonna go to cmd let's say i'm gonna go to olama list and see these are the different models that i've been using next i'm gonna pull one very small model uh, let's go and see this 
this 0.6 uh, billion model. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to my CMD and then I'm going to say Olamar 1 when 3 0 0.6 billion. So this is going to pull the model and uh, I have about 200 Mbps speed. So this is going to take about 30 seconds and then we are going to use this. While this is downloading, I would like to state that my next project or my next target is to fine tune this Quen 3 using something known as Unsloth. I have so many different videos on how to fine tune on using Unsloth. This is one library that I am bringing in today again so that you can go ahead and use this to fine tune your models. Now Unsloth now supports everything. For example, full fine tuning, 8-bit pre-training, all transformer style models. For example, Mistral, Mixture Experts, go here. Any training algorithms like GPRO with BLMs. Unsloth supports everything. You can go ahead and fine tune your models, the Squen 3 models on your own data set and uh, then you will be able to use it to a more you know for your own use case now if you want to try that big model you can go for any gpus for example the best uh, gpu that i think is a run pods uh, i pasted a link that you can use uh, to sign up for run pods but here we can see that we have so many different gpus and they're pretty fast in the previous video as well i've mentioned and shown you they're pretty fast and it's pretty amazing to use uh, gpus when you don't have a very good system for example i have an 8 gb uh, gpu laptop and this is not sufficient for running a uh, very large models but uh, anyway so we have a uh, uh, there is some error to load the model let me load the model again okay there are some issues i think you need to update olama so i go and, i'm gonna go to restart to update so i'm gonna restart olama because there is always these new versions that comes up and we always need to update so let's wait for the update and then we are going to run this again okay we have completed the update and now let's go and see if it runs olama run quen 30.6 billion so what is the capital of india the capital of india is new delhi pretty good uh why is the sky blue okay what is seven plus nine yep 16 is correct but it didn't really give me the answer this is what it thought but it didn't really give me the answer okay one more thing that i would like to bring your attention is they're introducing something uh, known as thinking and non-thinking modes as we have already seen but you can manually switch it on or off for example what is this uh, let's say five plus nine or eight and if you say slash think this is going to think through the problem and you can see that it completes the thinking process and then it gives you the answer but if you do this non think then you can see that it's going to give you the answer pretty much very quickly so again uh, you can see that if we go ahead and try this out if we use the think so what is the capital of india and if you use this think then this is going to use the think tag and then give you the answer if you use this non-think then you can see that it doesn't think through and it quickly gives you the answer so this is one type of manual control that you can put of course in the code when using this on the code uh, it will be available to you as well that you can just toggle this think and non-think mode so this is what an important development uh, in this version of quen but this is a very small model we can try with other models but i'm going to leave it to you to try these models out using olama you can use other networks other platforms for example lm studio as well that they have mentioned there is another space where you can go ahead and test this out you can see that the thinking budget you can specify the thinking budget and now i do remember i've seen this thinking budget in a uh, gemini models we can see this thinking budget as well how much thinking time and energy do you want to spend on thinking for a problem of course this is an amazing model this is going to help us in tons of different projects that you can use but yeah this is Gwen 3 i'm hoping best for the future and you can see that these are the different models that that is that it supports and these are the different partners you can see a single page view of different partners for example vllm we have k transformers unsloth um, hugging face you have mlx you have camel then you have fireworks ai crew ai and so much more so you can go ahead and test this out let me know in the comments what you think of this model is this a new good model better than the other models that we have but yeah the next video i'm going to talk about more agents pretty cool so if you're interested in these kinds of short videos stay tuned subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time